The grand prize winner of the National Energy Policy's Home Energy Makeover launched on October 7, 2020, has been selected. The competition, put on by the Ministry of Sustainability and Climate Resiliency in partnership with CUC, includes new insulation, appliances, lighting and an air conditioning system, all valued at $34,651. The changes are expected to decrease the winner's energy consumption by 35% from the prior month and by 50% from the prior year. I was so excited when we found out that we um, were the finalists um, and we would get the energy audit. Uh, that in itself was great because it, they came in, they did a whole evaluation on our homes and came back with a report on what we could do to you know, lower our energy consumption and lower our energy bills as well. I think that it is such a blessing to have this. We have to weave sustainability into everything that we do um, across government, across our economy, across our country, across our lives generally. So I'm very happy, um, very proud to be able to support this. Um, government is absolutely supportive of, of any measures to reduce the cost, um, create better energy efficiencies. And I'm so pleased for Ms. Coburn for her, her being the, the winner and I want to congratulate her. Um, I think it's, it's wonderful and I'm sure she's, even though it's just now, I'm sure she's going to start seeing significant benefits from this going forward. She's already mentioned in conversations just the way it feels different to her now. Um, so I think it's going to, it's going to show um, her and programs like this once they get rolled out across the country, it will be a part of our national energy plan which we, we want to support, promote and get that in place to meet the objectives, the targets that are set out in that, to lower our, our energy consumption, to lower our, our carbon output. Our winner, the homeowner, she had a 2,280 kilowatt hour uh, utility consumption and after all of the retrofits it went down to 1,482, so 35% reduction in energy consumption. When the competition was first launched in October 2020, eight semi-finalists won a free home energy audit and a smart thermostat provided by CUC. Sheridan Colburn was selected as one of those semi-finalists and later the winner of the competition supported by contributing sponsors, Dart and Saxon. So CUC was really proud to be a part of this home energy competition. Our goal was to help customers understand that you can control your consumption. It's not just about rates and it's not something that you can't manage. It's all about the changes that you make to your environment. Uh, in terms of our contribution, we contributed the funds towards the actual energy audits for all eight finalists. And every single finalist received a smart thermostat as well, each of them valued at $250 um, to help them put settings on their air conditioning to once again go towards controlling energy consumption. DART believes in the power of renewable energy to transform the way that we build in the Cayman Islands for the better of our, of our people and our planet. We truly believe that if we can cut down people's monthly costs for their home, because we all know costs are rising, that it's a really important thing to get behind and to support. What we represent as a company is any kind of initiative that supports cleaner environments, um, anything that's going to you know, be more energy efficient. Um, we're also very into smart cars, electric cars, that type of thing. So when we saw this come across our plates, we couldn't say no. It was an initiative that we think needs to happen more in the Cayman Islands. The reason we uh, contributed to the competition is because a lot of people don't know how much money they can save if they upgrade their air conditioning equipment to something that's more efficient. A lot of people don't know that that's the greatest um, use of electricity in your home or business is the air conditioning and it's the way you can save the most money is by investing in a good efficient air conditioning system. One of the things that we won for was the fact that we had one of the higher CUC bills each month. So that's one of our biggest motivations to see a lower consumption bill. 
Well, the winner of the contest won a complete air conditioning system. It was all Mitsubishi. We supplied the air conditioning equipment to Cooling Pros, who was the contractor that was selected for this project. And they got, I think it was a 3,500 square foot house. They got a VRF um, air conditioning system, which is a variable refrigerant flow system, which can operate more than one indoor unit with a single outdoor unit. So they eliminated some of their outdoor units and consolidated those down to a single unit outdoors, which means less maintenance. It's also more efficient because it can ramp up and down on demand rather than being on at one capacity, full capacity only. It can run at a minimum capacity. It's a thousand times better. Just the spray foam alone, the difference in the cooling of the house was such a big difference even without the air conditioning. Um, energy efficiency is, is one of the aspects that we specialize in um, and the relationship between insulation and air conditioning. How foam works is we get to control the environment by sealing it off from the outside world and then from there we can easily control the climate inside the house. So that's kind of a summary of, of what we did with this project. Now that the air conditioning has been put in and that's working, um, it's cooling at a much better rate. We don't have to put the AC so high to really feel the difference. It's, it's a big, big difference. Reducing your home energy consumption is known to help homeowners save money and reduce their carbon footprint. To find the full report on the Home Energy Efficiency Public Education Campaign, go online to energy.gov.ky or follow at Energy Cayman on Facebook and Instagram. We do have a DIY audit checklist on our website, energy.gov.ky, which can help you to navigate through your home, look at the things that will help to reduce your energy consumption. So you should start there and then um, look at all the key things, the insulation, the building envelope, and determine what would be the best um, move forward. But the great thing about this is you can do one step at a time. You don't have to make over everything at one time. Even a small change each month will make a difference, taking an incremental step, it's what you can afford each month to do. Okay, I would certainly like to thank all of those um, sponsors who have been engaged in this. This, this initiative um, requires and demonstrates the extent to which we can have a, a private-public um, participation to demonstrate these kinds of benefits of these kinds of approaches, these kinds of initiatives. I want to thank my team at, at my ministry um, I want to thank the National Coordinator for the Energy Policy, Ms. Kristen Smith. She's doing a great job. And everybody else who's been involved, I think this is an immense initiative. It really demonstrates what we can achieve going forward. We're going to be doing more of these things. The Ministry is going to be embarking on the five-year review of the National Energy Policy in 2022. It's an opportunity for us to review the policy and to make sure that it's still responsive to our needs and reflects the changing circumstances and opportunities in the area of energy. We've just had the COP26 meetings in Glasgow where the world is coming together to try and address the issue of climate change. And the fact is, for those of us here in the Cayman Islands, climate change and the impact from it is already happening. We're already seeing things like sea level rise starting to occur. We're seeing increases in beach erosion. And it really is true what they have been saying, that we need to stay to 1.5 to stay alive. A big part of that for us in the Cayman Islands is reducing our carbon emissions. I think the home energy audit competition was a fantastic opportunity for people to learn a little bit more about what steps they can take as individuals to reduce their home energy consumption. As, as we get more green and sustainable minded in the Cayman Islands, I look forward to having more things like this where the regular person can benefit from all of the, the things that are out there. Because I personally wouldn't have known about like the air conditioning and how they have the different things that can help you lower your bills each month. Um, it's, it's just been a real blessing. Um, and I think to have the benefits across the board, both in a personal sense, in a financial sense for individuals and their cost of living, and in a real sense in terms of what we're doing for the, the environment and the positive impact we're having in relation to climate change. It's a win-win for the entire country. Win-win for people, it's a win-win for the country, and it's a win-win for the planet.